Good morning, my beautiful friends. I just got back from the gym and I'm gonna be making breakfast. I don't know if I can't talk right now. Today I'm gonna be doing a what I eat for sustainable healthy weight loss. So if you saw my video back in June where I gained 20 pounds after I'd lost 70 pounds, I said that I was gonna be documenting this a lot better than I have been on YouTube and I'm sorry about that. Um, but in the last, what has it been, six months? I've lost about 14 to 15 pounds. I only weigh myself once a month, so I weighed myself on December 1st and I was 126 pounds, so I think that was 14 or 15 pounds that I've lost since June, which I know is really slow, but it's very sustainable. I feel like I'm not doing anything at all. I'm not restricting my calories. I'm not working out like crazy. I'm not really doing anything except for eating healthy foods. I just want to talk about kind of where I think I went wrong. So when I had originally lost 70 pounds, I would never in my entire life had reached a goal weight or had successful weight loss. So I really had no idea how to maintain my weight. And how I gained those 20 pounds back was it's not that I was eating like junk food all the time or anything like that. I was just eating differently. I wasn't eating the way that I was when I was losing weight, which now I realize to maintain my weight whenever I get there, I have no real goal or time frame. I'm just letting my body do what it wants to do and get where it wants to get to. I have no weight goal, I have no weight time frame. None of that nonsense this time. I realize I'm still going to have to eat the way that I was eating to lose the weight in the first place. That's where I went wrong. So for breakfast this morning, I'm gonna be making us hash browns. I pre-steamed some potatoes that I have in the fridge and Derek got me this retro like vintage i would say that it's it's like a modern day spiralizer except for it's from the 1950s i think it's called the salad master and it, he got it off ebay it's like super vintage it has all these different um what would you call them attachments so you can make different kinds of like fun shapes and all that kind of stuff so i'm gonna try and shred my hash browns in this and then i'm just gonna put some seasoning on them, probably dice up some peppers, onions, spinach. I would do mushrooms, but I don't have mushrooms. Thing is dangerous! And then put some spices on it. I'll put the exact recipes to everything I eat today in the description box for you guys, just so that you know um, if you want to remake them. And yeah, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna start making food.
I'm back inside from doing yoga as you saw in the video. I've been working really hard on my handstands because I wanna be able to do like a killer handstand. That's my goal for 2019. I wanna talk really quickly about the exercise that I've been doing. So I've been going to the gym probably three to five times a week. Like sometimes I'm really motivated and I go five times. And then some weeks I just go three times. But I've been doing probably 45 minutes of just strength training. I have not been walking as much. If you saw my, my weight loss journey from years ago, I was walking like 15,000 steps a day. Now I'm probably walking five, maybe one day a week I get 10,000 steps. But I haven't really been doing a lot of like steady state cardio. I've just been doing more strength training to get stronger and to firm up and build muscle and all those things. And I found it just to be a lot better for my mentality <laughs> instead of walking around in circles or trying to like walk seven miles a day. It just got really boring and I found that I would have to take a nap every day because I was really tired just from doing a lot of activity and stuff. And now I have more energy to like focus on things that I want to do in my life, things that I want to create and just having a good life in general that's not focused around walking seven miles a day. And obviously I do yoga pretty much every day. But yeah, it's just been very relaxed. I haven't been like pushing myself really hard or doing anything crazy. I just wanted to mention that if you guys had any questions. And I'm really more focused right now on just building my strength and flexibility and kind of just seeing where this new routine takes me. Like I said, I don't have any weight loss goals or any, any goals, any goals anymore. I just want to find a routine that I can stick to for the rest of my life and be happy and be strong and be healthy and be all those things. So I'm going to show you guys how to make my favorite little snack. I call them mint truffle balls. Basically all they are is dates, cocoa powder and peppermint a little bit of peppermint oil and they honestly taste like peppermint patties. I have a video where I made them in the past but I haven't made them for a while and then I made them for Christmas and like everyone was freaking out about how good they are because they just, they're amazing. They taste like freaking candy and they're so healthy for you. So I've been eating these a lot as just in between meals if I want something sweet. I think because I eat more of a starch based diet I always kind of want to have something small and sweet after a meal for some reason and I really just love chocolate and any way that I can get chocolate into my body, I am good with that. So let's make these. They're really simple to make, they're just kind of messy. So like I said, I'll be leaving the recipe for this in the description box below, but what I do basically is I use really good medjool dates. These are from 7hotdates.com and they are the wet pack dates so you don't have to soak them or anything. If you get dry dates from Whole Foods or any other kind of store and they're not super wet, I would recommend soaking them for at least an hour and then draining off all of that water. All we're going to do is put our dates into our blender, add in our cocoa powder, and then add in our peppermint oil and blend it together. You really only need to blend it for a few seconds. And then I like to make these really small so I just use a little teaspoon and I scoop out a little bit. They're probably about one inch in diameter. You wanna put a little bit of cocoa powder into a bowl and then once you're done rolling them into a ball, all you're gonna do is just roll them in the cocoa powder and then you'll just wanna do that until all of your mixture is gone. Once you're done, they'll look like this and they will be really soft. What I always do is I just put them in the freezer, I leave them in the freezer and then when I wanna eat them, I just take them out. And I just store them in a little glass Pyrex container like this. Hey, Baba. Why are you always in here? Today has been one of those days where I've been so busy and I wanted to make like good meals but I'm gonna eat leftovers for lunch because I just have a lot of stuff to do and then I'm gonna make something special for dinner. This is leftover lentil loaf from Christmas and I actually like it so much better when it's cold because I grew up eating meatloaf, hate to say that, but I always liked it better when it's cold and this lentil loaf is amazing. Again, the recipe will be in the description box and then I just have a side of sweet potatoes here that I just baked in my air fryer. For this delicious dinner that I have, you guys kind of saw me put it, put it, put it together. <laughs> I have white rice, some 
marinated tempeh that I cooked in the air fryer. I've also got some steamed broccoli in here, greens, carrots, cilantro, green onion, sesame seeds, and then the dressing I made out of tahini and the Trader Joe's goiza dipping sauce. If you've never tried that stuff, it's actually really good. Let's try this out. I just kind of like to throw together these little bowls and I make them different every time. And they always turn out really delicious. This tempeh marinade is so delicious. I put it on tofu all the time. Sometimes I just use it as a sauce that I'll put over a stir fry bowl or something like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.